Hey there. It's a late night edition of Not Mornings with Mary. And tonight we are going to talk about some health, mental health strategies. Chances are I'm not going to be on too long tonight. I'm a little tired. It's been a long day. But let's start. Okay, so are you ready for this? Basically, hello, isn't that scary, Mary, without a filter? Um, so some, some great mental health strategies, like when you're suffering, when life seems to be too much, when your kids are driving you crazy, and when you feel like you really can't live in the combat zone anymore. Um, these are some things that I myself do. They may or may not work for you, but give them a try and see if they work. Number one, make sure to take time for you. You know, it's that old thing of when the oxygen comes down from the airplane, you know, if you if you lose pressure or whatever, make sure you put it on yourself first before your child. Why? Because you need to be alive. You have to take care of mama first. All right, so whatever that means, going to the bank of fill in the blank of your name, What? how do you make deposits into yourself? So like for me, I sat in the hot tub today. Um, hey there. So really making sure that you do things that invest in you is super, super important. All right. So being able to say, hey, I have, I don't know, Elizabeth likes to listen to music. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Good evening, Teal. How are you? So being able to make sure that you find time to invest back into you, whatever that means to you. Um, sometimes that means for me, like cooking a back, batch of cookies or making a really good dinner, finding ways to Put deposits back in yourself, spending time with friends, spending time with family if they don't drain the heck out of you. Um, sometimes I just get on the floor and snuggle with my doggies. It's not always about having a glass of wine and disconnecting. Sometimes it is. But other times it's really just about honoring yourself. And that's a great way to be able to make deposits and keep your own mental health strong because life is going to hit you and it's going to hit you hard at times. And you need to have that reserve in yourself to be able to pull on it. It's just like... There's an emotional bank account in your in yourself, just like there is a financial bank account for your bills. And if friends and family and life are constantly making depletions and they're constantly coming out and stuff, then it is, hey, honey, well, I have had a crappy day too. I've made myself relax. Um, my day started off with spending $400 to root out 50 years worth of someone else's shampoo and soap and hair in my drain because I was taking a bath in my shower stall with someone else's hair and grossness. That was the beginning of my day. So like $400 off the top. Yeah. And then I get to pay another $400 for someone to come and mark my water line so I can get a new septic because they haven't pumped the septic except for twice in 50 years. And I have 18 more days until my husband's out of work. And today's the last paycheck. Yeah. So my day sucked, but I'm going to focus on the positive. Tell me about your day and why your day sucked. But let me tell you, a lot of it is attitude. Not all of it. I mean, my, my attitude couldn't, can't make things happen differently, but it can really change how I interpret things. So if my attitude is like, this all sucks and life sucks, well, guess what? My body's going to hurt more. My mind's going to hurt more. And there are times it really does suck. I mean, there, there are definitely times it does. Um, but if I can look at it and sort of put it in perspective and be like, okay, yeah, this hurts or this sucks, but it could be X, Y, and Z. Let me look at the positive things. Well, it was it was pretty out today. Okay, couldn't breathe with a damn because of pollen, but it was really pretty. All right, and um, I was able to sit in the hot tub for a little bit. Couldn't breathe, but I could sit in the hot tub. Um, no one had to go to the hospital today. That's a good day. Um, no one had any major huge crisis, again, good day. So really being able to count on the positives rather than the negatives because our life becomes what we focus on. So what we focus on becomes who, like what our thoughts are. Our thoughts become who we choose to become and who we choose to become is made out of our decisions. And so, yeah, days can suck or moments in a day can suck. And sometimes, I mean, even I allow it to like take over the whole day, which is stupid because then it ruins my entire day. But if you can stop it and say, this belongs in just this point of the day, and I'm not going to drag it through the rest of the day, hard as hell to do, but it is totally possible. All right. So stuff like making sure your head's in the right place, make sure that, you know, if if you use essential oils, do you have some of those that work for you? Some people can use lavender. I can't use lavender. Makes me sick as can be. 
but yesterday I sat in the tub for 15 minutes and I used some cardamom. It was what I needed. Make sure to make deposits into your own emotional bank account because as moms, we are constantly giving and giving and giving and giving. And then as heads of household, we are constantly giving and giving and giving and giving. I'm sorry, even the dishwasher takes. Not only does it take my dirty dishes, it takes my time. I have to keep the dogs out of the dishwasher. I mean, there's always something that is, that's taking. And remembering to give back to me and not feel guilty about that is like super important because often we are we are taught by society that you know if we do things for ourselves then we're selfish okay um, but then we completely deplete ourselves and then we're resentful and we're angry and we're pissy and that doesn't work either right so finding that balance um, as I said earlier Elizabeth's way of putting like her bank account has to do with music. She's really musical. She's really artistic. So when she's not doing her art, when she's not listening to music, um, we know that there's an issue. That's when her emotional bank account is depleted um, and when she could probably have another bipolar break. So we watch that really carefully with her. For me, it's if I'm quiet. Like I sat down yesterday in Goodwill and said nothing. That never happens. I'm usually like dancing my way through Goodwill and having a great time. I was exhausted and... The, and the stress of life was just bearing down on me. So everyone has to know what their triggers are and and how it is that they replenish themselves. And if you don't know, then sort of just keep track of it because it's not always like you need to make this huge deposit of time in your life. Sometimes it's just, you know what, I went to the bathroom by myself today and there was no one that came with me. I mean, sometimes that is like the best part of my day. I got to wipe my ass by myself, like total high point of my day. Doesn't happen often. Hey there. So being able to know what depletes you is super important. What your triggers are, that is super important. And then knowing how to make your own deposits into yourself. So whatever that means. So maybe for Regina, it's sitting down and making a huge batch of empanadas or getting together with her big Italian family. Maybe for, for Tila, it's going through and sitting down with her Bible. Um, you know, and really having a good one-on-one -on -one prayer session with God. For Elizabeth, I don't know yours. I'm going to guess, though. Maybe it's, it's dancing like no one's looking. For me, it's generally, I'm, believe it or not, I'm actually an introvert. No one believes me when I tell them this, but I actually am an introvert. I prefer alone time. I love people. People are great, but I really like alone time. That's like how I replenish myself. So I'll take a bath. I sat in the hot tub today. Um, so I need to do things, I need to read a book, I need to escape, I need quiet. Like I can't constantly have all this bombardment all the time. That's what depletes me. I went to a girlfriend's house today to help her with her garden and she was like totally shocked that I'm not completely freaking out about Rich's job loss. Well shit, there's nothing I can do about it, right? I can choose to have a piss poor attitude and be angry and be like, why, why does this happen to him? He's 49, he put in his time, blah, 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 blah. But that's bullshit, right? I'm like kind of psyched. I'm like, cool. Like he can, has time to reevaluate, has time to look at his life. It's all in your own perspective and your attitude of gratitude is going to make your life so much better. Because like I said earlier, what you focus on is what becomes your reality. So what do you want to focus on? I mean, do you want to focus on the shit in your life? We all have shit in our life. All of us. I am sorry. There are times our life is nothing more than a huge, excuse my mouth, fucking thing of septic, all right? I mean, that's just shit. It happens, but get over it. Change your attitude, change your perspective. Okay, so Elizabeth says, hi, I do that sometimes. I'm missing acrylic painting. Then get it, and I'll get back to it soon. I know, oh, I love Daughtry. It comes out soonish. I'll be blasting that, I love Daughtry. Like, I can actually sing that low sometimes. It's really kind of cool. Um, so finding, yeah, like going in the car and singing, belting my lungs out. I am that crazy chick. You know that commercial, like that Cheetos commercial where they're like singing in the car? Hello. That's like totally me. I don't care. Like today, this woman, so we went to go, Elizabeth went to go get a tattoo and couldn't get it. So we went to go get ice cream. They didn't have an opening. She gets it tomorrow. Anyway, this woman was wearing a pink pussy hat. Yes, you know, from the, the pussy movement, right? And so we were here and like the gas station was here and there's a parking lot between us. And I saw her and I was like, oh my God, I love your pussy hat. And Elizabeth looked at me and was like, oh my God. And this guy in, in, the, in like the, the barbershop was looking at me like, oh my God, she just said the word pussy. And here I am, this little white woman screaming across the parking lot to this big old black woman with a bright pink pussy hat. It was a fabulous moment. And we like high-fived each other in the air. And I'm like, keep wearing your pussy hat, baby. And she laughed 
And she's like, yes, you need a pussy hat. I'm like, yes, I need a pussy hat. It was an emotional deposit in my bank account. I mean, it was great. There's this woman I don't even know, and we are laughing about bright pink pussy hats. How fabulous is that? I mean, that was like a little emotional deposit. It wasn't great. It wasn't like I did this big, wonderful thing. I didn't, you know, go on vacation. No. I complimented someone on their pussy hat. Find someone to compliment on their pussy hat. That's a great thing to do. But, I mean, really, honestly, you need to know you. Okay? You need to know what it is that makes you tick. You need to know what depletes you. You need to know what replenishes you. And that's really the key to mental health. Liz and I were talking about this today because she wasn't going to come live with me, but she's asleep. 19. She'll be 20 in like 10 days and she's asleep. What the hell? I'm old. I'm awake. Anyway, so we were talking about, you know, for her, what does mental health mean to her? Because here's someone who has bipolar and anxiety and depression and a lot of struggles. And she's like, you know what, mom? I hate it when you say it and I didn't think it was real, but it really is about your attitude. It's your thought patterns. When you have negative thought patterns, your body's going to actually hurt. You're going to make yourself hurt. You're going to make your brain hurt. You're going to make your heart hurt. And everything you see is going to be filtered through a filter of shit glasses. So if you want to wear poopoo glasses, I understand not wanting to wear rose-colored glasses because then you really don't see things how they are. Sometimes you have to put them over the shitty glasses. And then you have like shitty rose-colored shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm older and I'm like, I know. Hey, mom. How are you? Um, so here we are, you know, talk about mental health and what is it that we're going to do? What makes us happy. And she looked at me and she's like, you know what, mom? It's the attitude. She's like, you're so right when I choose to focus and have a purpose. So I came up with this thing and it was like, you know, you have to have the ability to have a reason to do something. What is your reason? Without a reason, you're going to be lost, right? And then you have to know your outcome. What is the outcome that you want? Because you could have a to-do list that's a million miles long. And you could do it all and still not be satisfied because what's the outcome that you want? And then you have to take massive action. Okay, so that's my RPM. I, came, I thought I was pretty proud of that. So I was like, you know, you have to have a reason. You have to have your outcome. You have to have massive action. And then guess what's going to happen? You're going to have better mental health. Because when you have a reason to get up and you know what that outcome's going to be, let's say you want to plant a garden. That was our, helping my girlfriend today. That was the outcome that was created. Then we took massive action. Well, we did it. We got dirty. We even had white wet t-shirts and middle-aged women it's kind of scary but those things like that so have a reason know what your reason is determine your outcome then you can make your to-do list from that you don't even need a to-do list then then you just know what you need to do because you know what the outcome is going to be all right and so maybe your to-do list would completely change if you knew what the hell the outcome was right you wouldn't waste your time on bullshit and then take action so your attitude your mental thoughts become your your decisions, which become your habits, which become your life. Pretty simple. You want to change your life, change your habits, change your thoughts. Make deposits into your own personal bank account because everybody needs that. Take your own oxygen mask, give it to yourself, and please get rid of the mommy guilt. You're doing the best you can. I know it's on the birth certificate, that little itty bitty writing on the side. You are guilty of everything. No, you're not. You're guilty of being human. Get over it. All right? Love yourself and then chillax because whatever you do, you've done the best that you can in that moment. So forgive yourself, love yourself, give your kid a hug if you've messed up, say I'm sorry, this is what I'll do different next time and move on. So that is it for late nights with Mary rather than mornings with Mary. I will see you guys tomorrow morning bright and shiny eyed. Until then, if you have any questions, leave them below. As always, like and share. Hit the webpage. I've been moving stuff around. I need to know what you guys like, what you don't like. So it's maryharrington.com. That is Harrington with an E. And check out the annual membership. It is totally new. And you'll have access to everything, all of the secrets, all of the binders, all of the courses. It's all there. So let me know what you think. It's maryharrington.com. Hit like, hit share. If you're watching on the replay, as usual, hashtag replay, and I'll see you in the morning. Bye-bye.